reports from around the globe indicate a shift in the alien phenomena now affecting cities worldwide. We're now receiving word of outright attacks. Looks like they've changed their tactics. But why? Why do this? It's a message to the entire world that nothing can stop them. The hell? Okay, apparently I can scroll around to... Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, anyways, hi. Um, yeah, you're probably wondering why you just saw that cutscene. It's because the last mission actually didn't record, and it's a good thing I checked after I did the recording, because I probably would have recorded more things. I can't go back, it's Iron Man. Um, basically, long story short, I have a terror mission now, so I had to grab that, that cutscene off of YouTube. Um, and I'll show you how my team is doing and what exactly happened. So nobody died. Um, that mission actually went really well. And so I have a, a terror mission over here. And yeah, we were in like Atlantis or some shit. I brought in SG Dan, SGGT Dan and he did fabulous and he got his sniper upgrade. Which is pretty great. Um, and I also gave myself uh, some armor as well. Um, re in terms of research... Uh, I finished beam weapons, which means I get lasers now, and I got a bunch of autopsy things, but I'm not really worried about any of these, so I don't really care. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it for research. In terms of facilities, um, my satellite uplink finished, and I decided to start excavating a bit more, because um, I need to get the alien jail soon, and I also want to continue with the um, satellite uplink, so I decided to start building a workshop because I'm... Starting to get to that point where uh, I need more engineers, so that's what I figured I'd do. Um, in terms of weapons, I was actually going to go over here at the beginning of this episode and actually buy one laser rifle. Oh, cool, I can at least show you this cutscene. Fuck you, cardboard alien. It's actually a reference to the old XCOM game, that's what the cardboard cutout was. Which is kind of neat. I'm only building that. I also have uh, some carapace armor. Oh yeah, I also uh, got some money, I think, from... Uh, there was a pending request for some... I sold a bit of alien alloys to some country that wanted them, and uh, I got like a hundred bucks for it. Which is how I was able to afford the engineering place, so... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what happened here, so now we're uh, on to the uh, terror mission. My greatest apologies. So, unfortunately, SG-10 didn't actually get any kind of level up, so we're, we're going to not take him with us. We're instead going to bring our, our heavies with us, so it's going to be like heavy, 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 and uh, uh, sniper, and then support. But I think I have another carapace armor for Morgan Freeman. And uh, I Mr. Shiv gets the laser rifle, because this is the only person who can actually use it. So... I figure one person should have, should have pimped out weapons. Okay, hopefully this is recording. So basically, terror missions are very difficult because um, there's always some sort of objective associated with them, like more than just kill everything. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. We've gotten reports of alien activity taking place in a densely populated urban center. We should move to secure the area and minimize further civilian casualties. Yeah, this is not going to be good. Uh, this map is also very difficult too. There's a lot of high ground I have to worry about. Let's just say we're not going to be having a good time here. But hell, that's, that's what we all signed up for, isn't it? 
I don't know why the armor looks whitish. <laughs> Central, this is Big Sky. Confirm signal uplink. Strike team is in position near the terror site. Awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. Alright. Uh, so, I am totally in... I think I can just do this. Let's see. I'm, oh, this is the battle scanner ability, which is, uh, I basically get to see what's on the map everywhere, and unfortunately it doesn't look like that's, uh, really in question. So, I already win the mission because I got, just got terror. I just got, uh, we have to basically save civilians, so we have to kind of step it up here, uh, but it's not a huge problem. So, battle scanner gives me some sight, uh, over the area. I was hoping to get it on the roof, but it looks like I didn't do that, so, whatever deal with it. I don't know. So, uh, there's, there's some big enemies. Oh, here we go. Hey. Remember chrysalids? From that one time where there was chrysalids? Hey, like, someone else gets a hit off. <laughs> Everyone gets a shot today. So, uh, chrysalids like to make more chrysalids, especially when there's civilians involved. Wow, that guy just got fucked. Okay. Uh... Yeah, chrysalids are, are interesting little creatures. Um, however, I'm not actually too worried about them. We have a lot of heavies. Like, that guy just got completely wrecked just by our overwatch, so, you know, it's not a big deal. Okay, uh, we can go move this guy possibly into here to save the civvy, but I would actually prefer not to. Because the thing is, at the end of the mission, if I, uh, if, if they're just alive, then it's okay. And I've already saved one, so there's no point. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, come on. So if he gets close to any of my guys, uh, and he, he still has his attack, unfortunately I'm probably just getting killed in one hit. But, uh... It looks like they're not even going to be able to do that in the first place. And somewhere else on the map, someone d just died. Okay. So in here, people are just having a happy time here. Alright, and let's start moving everybody in. Uh, we need to start. We're good. We need to start reloading these guys. Now, unfortunately, what usually this implies, though, is uh, uh, terror missions are very. We gotta kind of. We gotta balance speed and just. We need to get in there and just take out everything that's there. And unfortunately, that probably means something's up here. Fortunately, a battle scanner. Oh, I oh, know the battle scanner goes up here. Okay, let's throw it. Oh god, here they are. Now here's the problem. We need to somehow land a hit on these guys. So I don't think that's gonna be able to hit them because I think the only option I do have at this point is the rocket launcher. Actually, this will hit them. Let's try it. I don't. I, this is gonna be a really crazy, sick shot, but let's do it. Yes, and that one's still alive, though. <laughs> what the fuck? That was delayed. <laughs> well, we just saved a civvy that was up there, I think, or or she's dead. Pick one. No, no, she's alive. All in a day's work, ma'am. Yeah, see, when it comes to terror missions, Mike's not fucking around. And no one's here, it looks like. Oh god, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> but I think we'll be okay. It's all safe, guys. I'm really glad I have that battle scanner, because that literally saved that one civvy that was up there. Okay, so we hear them. They're coming from kind of over there. There's a couple more. 
the, the thing I'm really worried about, especially in these close quarters, is fucking chrysalids. Wait, what the hell was that? Yeah, wait, no, no, we know they're there, but, like, I heard, like... Yeah, okay, so... Oh, chrysalids, man. Fucking chrysalids. Annoy me so much. Okay. Oh god. Fucking stop doing that! It scares the shit out of me every time you do that. Okay. Uh, oh, my sniper's moving in. Okay, I kind of meant to move my, uh, my assault in, but whatever. I guess everyone's coming in. There's a lot of civvies here. Okay, I think we know where they are now. Uh, let's see if we can find some cover. Yeah, they're over there too. Where are they not at this point? Okay, we saved a civvy. I, I don't know why that we don't see the guy that was over there. I could have sworn he was there. Okay, my sniper will watch over here. And Nonners will cover up the rear over here. And we got another civvy. I call them civvies. Oh, here we go. And... Yeah! This is unfortunately going to be a problem because he's kind of just out there. Um, which means someone has to go and try and engage him. And that will be you. What's your chance to hit? 63. Nope, you're gonna suppress him. Suppression, it, this will make him so he's very unlikely to hit anything. And my person's uh, supposedly behind cover right now, so uh, we're gonna just kind of move up people slowly. While well, these two watch up the rear here, just to make sure nothing happens. So, he, uh, he doesn't have very many options, which is he just decided to kill a civilian. He's a fucking professional. You know, I... Oh, uh, this person already used their rocket launcher. So I have a couple of options here. I can just move up and just shoot him in the face. Let's do that. It's a flank shot. And it's a 100% chance. <laughs> I mean, there's a nice window here, so I guess Everything that's how it works. The numbers. So we saved 11 out of 18 civilians. Uh, we didn't lose anybody and killed all the aliens. There wasn't actually that many. Most of them I just rocketed, so... Eh. Pick it as you will. Excavation complete. Oh, nice. Man, those workshops are really expensive. I can kind of see now why people go to a Europe. Flawless effort. Not a single casualty. Yep, that's how we like it. Alright. Uh, so, still going for the heat ammo. Uh, Morgan will have that. Um, okay, so here we have either dense smoke or combat drugs. So the difference is that you can make a smoke grenades grant 20 to will, which means people are less likely to panic when they're in the cloud. They also get plus 10 critical chance. Um, I don't think that's that useful, to be honest, because you don't really use uh, uh, smoke grenades to be offensive. You use them to be defensive. So that's why I'm gonna actually use dead smoke because this increases uh, units' defense by 20. So like it's, it's it's 20 plus 20, so it's basically like full cover on top of whatever cover they're in. So that's really nice. And so um, you can either have two grenades in a single inventory slot. Um, if you haven't noticed, I really don't equip my uh, my heavies with grenades. The only other option is the danger zone, which is. Uh, Increase the area of effect of suppression and rocket attacks by two tiles. And I use I use suppression and rocket attacks, as you notice, so that's probably the best option for me. And Volkov got upgraded. So last time I got Battle Skinner. Now you either get uh, opportunist, which eliminates aim penalty, because remember uh, on on reaction shots, it's a minus twenty percent uh, aim to it. And and he also allows him to to cause critical hits when he's doing Overwatch. Opposed to Executioner, which um, whenever an enemy has less than 50% health, I get plus 10 aim. 
How many enemies do you really see me screwing around with when they have less than 50% health? Like, not really any. Um, but however, you see me doing overshot, uh, overwatch with the sniper all the time, especially since he's in the back. When I don't see anything, I'm overwatching. So this is actually really, 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 really good. Uh, because of the fact it's just like, you, you basically, it's like a normal shot, his overwatch shot. It's just like a normal sniper shot. And then it's just amazing. Especially since they're mostly out of cover when that happens, so it's really good. So uh, Argentina and South uh, South America is Remember, much ha happier with me. Will be watching. Uh, let's see I'm here. Sure, the troops will be eager to get out there and even up the body count. I just noticed. I just noticed I have uh, some titles off. Don't ask why. Uh, Our suspicions may have been true after all. They're not just here for abductions. They have something else in mind. Uh, how many days until the end of the month? Uh, we got 12 days. I just don't understand. Why use such advanced technology against innocent civilians? Well, let's just uh, wait for Arkthor to finish. Alright, and Arkthor is done. And I think I'm going to go after... I think I want Alien Nav Computer... Uh, or maybe I want. No, let's do lab computer because it's like that. It's okay. It's pretty okay. Uh, I could do like a foundry now, but I don't really see the point in doing the foundry right now. And precision lasers. You know, this gets you the shotgun laser and the sniper rifle laser, and then you can also get heavy lasers. But these are both slow. So let's do the slightly faster one. Uh because I, I really want those. All right, and let's see, what's what do we have in the gray market? Nothing, okay. I think I can sell it all. So let's, uh... Excavation. The council is requesting your attention. Secure transmission coming in now. Two engineers, nice. And so there's a transponder device provided by Zhang that's tied to our navigation system. Uh, and so we have to... I have absolutely. I have to deploy transponders. I've never seen this before. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. But I guess we'll be doing that. So until next time, we will be watching.